Here's a simulation of the Vanos installation procedure using a spare helical shaft removed from a Vanos unit. The gears should be turned in the fully clockwise position. Enter the splines into the intake sprocket. Now as you move the handle of the camshaft turning tool counterclockwise, you're going to need to press in on the shaft. Use a screwdriver uh, to get into the small space right here to give the leverage you need. Now you will see that it gets pulled in to the sprocket as you turn it. This is the way it is properly installed. Let's turn it back clockwise to remove this. You'll see that it should pop right out. Now one common mistake in installing this is to not make the first possible engagement of the teeth on the inside of the intake sprocket. Now as you can see, I've already rotated a few degrees counterclockwise. I'll go ahead and insert the helical shaft and continue its installation. Now as you can see, the shaft did not fully extend into the camshaft sprocket as it did before. This will allow the valves to operate properly, fully advancing the intake timing when it's activated, though when it returns to its default location, it will not be allowed to fully rotate. As you can see, all this space will not be allowed to be occupied by the splines on this locking the camshaft in with the sprocket.